This is the blood pot, aka Kukushunamo, where we speak truth to power. Now, here we don't criticize, but if we must criticize, we'll do that on one condition to build and never ever to destroy. We are in the service of God and country. Oh gosh, this is the voice of the people, and the voice of the people is the voice of God. And today we have a number of issues we need to look at. So we got to be quick and swift. We have to touch the ground running. Now the very first story I would like to look at is this. Now by now it is common knowledge in Ghana that Muesha Budwong has suffered a stroke. Right? It is common knowledge. Everybody in Ghana knows that Muesha Budong has suffered a stroke. And this is Muesha. Very curvy. Very hot and sexy. Apart from that, there isn't much you can see. Very curvy. Very sexy. And very hot. Now, a lot of Ghanaians got to know Muesha after she went for plastic surgery and liposuction to be able to get a figure carved like this my brother my sister coming all the way from the upper west region of ghana from the ethnicity of the sasala i'm talking about the ethnicity of dr hila liman they are such a proud people she is not from just any background at all my brother my sister she has been able to trade in Accra. What kind of trade? An actress, we were told officially. This is Muesha Budwong. Now, my brother, my sister, let's go into the nitty gritties of the stroke. What is a stroke? My brother, my sister, in the layman's view, a stroke is any kind of affliction that breaks you down from doing exactly what you want to do in terms of body movement and what have you but if you want to go deeper into it a stroke starts from the brain my brother my sister now when your body ceases to be able to respond according to your heart dictates and whims and caprices then you say that you have a stroke. It could be very debilitating. At the same time, very devastating. Depending on whether you have a mild stroke or a massive stroke, my brother, my sister, you could lose half of your body to the stroke and it will go numb. You will not be able to put it into any good use. Ultimately, you might even die. What kind of stroke did Muesha experience? My brother, my sister, and what brought about the stroke? Do we know? According to her brother, she has a stroke that has made her movement so very limited. She is not able to use some of her limbs as it stands right now. And she needs to be taken care of because she cannot take care of herself. It doesn't look like a mild stroke. These are not the symptoms of a mild stroke. My brother, my sister, who is Muesha Budwong? Apart from the fact that she was known as an actress, she also became a symbol of sex. She was interviewed by CNN and it was extremely controversial. In Ghana, not many people attach braininess to Moesha. In other words, not people. So many people in Ghana see her as brilliant. Like in America, a lot of people assert that blondes are not that smart. In Ghana, a lot of people have the same assertion for 
Moesha, even though she is not a blonde. My brother, my sister, I met Moesha only once all my life. And it was at the conference center. My brother, my sister, for the Ghana Music Awards. I just said hi to her and walked away. My brother, my sister, Moesha granted an interview to CNN. And in that interview, she made it point blank that she was selling her body in order to feed and that she would not date a man who couldn't give her what she wanted in terms of the finances. My brother, when you exchange sex for money, it is known as prostitution. You can give it all kinds of names. My brother, my sister, you can call it a blue film when it's a dirty film. My brother, my sister, you can call it an adult movie because you want to run away from calling it a dirty movie. You can call them slay queens. You can call them call girls. You can call them hook up or hook down girls. It's still the same value. Prostitution. In this same interview, my brother, my sister, she said that all she was dating any man for, and she didn't care whether he was married or not. All she wanted was cash. She granted another interview, and that is what is on the screen right now, those of you watching us on Facebook. I vowed never to date a broke guy. I can't date a man without a care. A man with at least a Corolla or a Hyundai. That was what Moesha said. She didn't hide her activities. She made it clear that she was a prostitute. Let's use the words correctly. My brother, my sister, today Moesha has been struck down by a stroke. And many people are crying left, right, and center. Before the stroke, she went through some mental issues. She seemed to have recovered. And then she started moving from one church to the other. The next thing we saw, she went back to the ninth club and she was shaking what the surgeon gave her. My brother, my sister. Then boom, my sister is down with the ultimate, if I may call it so, a stroke. Now to make it worse, her brother has decided to initiate a GoFundMe. And to those of us who are old school and do not know what that is, it's the social media account that is open for people to donate money into so that they could use it for a certain project. They are supposed to be able to tell us what project it is. And the project is simply donate to Muesha Budwong because she needs 10,000 American dollars. Oh, Iradina Kupan. How much is 10,000 American dollars to a slave queen? How many big men banged this pretty lady? How many billionaires vowed that they would take her to Dubai, take her to heaven, and take her to all the four corners of the earth? If only she would give them a bite of the cherry. How many of the men around, oh, lusciously, thought about and even meditated, if I could use that word, or fantasized over the body of this lady? Today, none of them is able to provide them with 10,000 American dollars, at least to the family to take care of Moesha. Again, how much does it cost to do liposuction? How much does it cost to have this body carved by a surgeon? What is the maintenance fee? Moesha was said to be driving one of the biggest cars in town. Is the car still there? Did she sell it? Did the family sell it to take care of her? I am not here to judge or to chastise. But the Bible says that the wise take lessons from what happens to the fool. That's what the Bible says. My brother, the Bible is full of so many different 
wise sayings. It's the same Bible that says it is better to give than to take. This is Lumuesha in the church crying hysterically and so on and so forth. At this point, she had given her life to God. A few days later, she was back in the ninth club. My brother, it could have been a, a case of mental illness. So we do not judge from the periphery. My brother, recently it was in the news that there was even a musician who had a threesome with her. So all these people are unable to support the lady now. Or they are telling themselves, oh, after all, we paid her for her services at the time. But what lessons can we derive from this? I'm reading some things on social media. I don't want to read them to you because I feel sad. A fear, one of her friends has gone to post on X. Please help Moesha donate into a go fund. And the comments that are coming there, the first comment is nauseous. My brother, my sister, today those donating, would Moesha tell them, you must own at least a Hyundai or a Corolla before you can donate to me? Let's be very humble. Moesha took it too far. I am sad she is not well. I pray that she gets well. And when she gets well, I am sure that she will revise the notes. But the sad thing is there are so many young girls out there who are doing the same thing. Some of them, we knew, they were so slim. All of a sudden, they have become buxom. I know you don't understand that word. Please check it out. B-U-X-O-M. Buxom. Some of them, my brother, my sister, have made the surgeon their life and their savior. Every now and then, the surgeon is carving them like a sculptor. My brother, when you live in times where it is all about what we see and not the character of our content, these are some of the things that will hate us. I'm sad for Moesha. She thought all her life that it was all about sex and trying to please men who would pay her. Today, the same men are running away from her. And she's not even 40. The same men are chastising her. The same men sleep with her and spread it around. How she tastes. Do you have a daughter? These days, when your wife gets pregnant and is going to give birth, a lot of the prayer of men is that they shouldn't have girls. Is sad but my brother my sister to god be the glory we pray that she gets well and we pray that uh, uh she's able to get the donations i'm personally going to donate by the grace of the father so that she gets well to recover soon now the next story i want to look at is very interesting oh my god and I'm reading this from Ghana Web. It says, why are Sensu Bwachi supporters held Kokonte party after defeating Ken's brother in Bantama primary? I read. Member of parliament for the Bantama constituency, Francis Asensu Bwachi, has shared his motivation behind some of his supporters holding a food party to celebrate his recent victory in the new patriotic party NPP parliamentary elections, according to the MP. The Kokonte party was inspired by a negative assertion by Kennedy Japan, that's a sin central MP, who sought to denigrate him over his modest trade. When Honorable Kennedy Japan came, he was denigrating the job of my mother that fed many people in the community. And he said that my mother is a Kokonte seller. So it infuriated the people. He explained when he start, sat with Bolare. As guests on Star FM's Star Chart on Thursday, uh, February 1, 2024. Yeah, Asen was my mate right there at KNUST, and we used to call him Kabila. I still call him Kabila. 
we haven't seen each other for so many years last time i saw him was at the airport when he was flying vip and i had gone to see somebody off i don't envy him he's worked very hard for whatever he has right now even when we were in school and we were busily going for lectures he was torn between his political future and his schooling going for meetings of the npp and so on and so forth today is where he is when canada japan went to bantama and sought to denigrate another mp by saying that nima miton kokonte kokonte uraba i said that no sometimes canada japan can be childish extremely childish look at your age 60 plus and you think that by denigrating somebody's mother's legal profession you will make votes even a 20 year old won't say things like that with all respect to Canada Japan nobody is bigger than the truth I love Canada Japan but sometimes he can be so childish and infantile you went to Bantama and what you said to the people and I have the type. So many Ghanaians saw it. Nima miton kokonte. Na ye dien. Na wuma midi oton dien. Gold and a said diamond. We all came from somewhere. Somebody's mother sells cocoa. Another person's mother sells yoro yoro and wasa wasa. Na dien nima miton kobi nusuye. As long as the mother is not stealing, as long as the mother is not in some illegal profession to be able to take care of whoever. It was so infantile for an MP who was seeking to be the president of this nation to talk like this. Do you think Okonte Seles and their children would vote for you if you want to be president? Is that how to get votes? And his brother was also tagging along. Look at how it ended for you. I am glad as and the rest of them decided to do a kokonte party. I don't eat kokonte because I'm vegetarian. Kokonte goes with whatever it goes with. And I don't partake in that. But for the first time, I would have joined the party even if I didn't eat that kokonte. It's sad. Don't let us look down at people's professions. Like the other day, that guy I will buy your radio station and I will, I will relegate you to the position where you belong. Such arrogance. Look at this talk. You have money, so you are what? You are God? You have money, so you are Angel Gabriel? No wonder Bob Marley told them straight away. He said, and I quote, Ah, this guy is so poor that all he has is money. Now the final story. Yabo! Yabo! And this story, my brother, my sister, I'm not going to spend too much time on it. I'm reading it from 3news.com, the most authentic source of news online. And it says, LGBTQI+. Plus. This is bold and decisive. Sam George on Mohammed's position. Watch this. Ningo Pram Pram lawmaker Samuel Nate George has said the stance of former president john dramani mahama on the issue of homosexuality is bold and decisive he said mr mahama has shown leadership by stating publicly his position on the matter watch this hear this you see mahama has made a very bold decision it's never going to come without consequences watch this now internally people are excited culturally people are excited that is why mps would all vote against lgbtqi plus yet behind the scenes they hypocritically will try to fight it down they are not ready to come out of the closet my brother my sister this is going to give bahama votes from a country that loves straightness or straight people man to woman so religious yet never spiritual but I want to say one thing. Hey, President Mahama, this is the beginning of Ghana becoming economically independent.
Now, when you become president, you cannot go to Andrew Solomon anymore. And we know that that is a very good friend of uh, Mahama, who is gay. You understand? You cannot go to these people again in the West to ask them to donate anything to your country. It's the time to start being economically independent. That is the reason I love this. The West is controlled by gays, LGBTQI plus square root, plus minus division, whatever. My brother, my sister, it is time right now to be able to say that, okay, now that we have closed all the doors to our begging, it's time to look inward and stand economically independent. Hallelujah. I don't know who is listening to me. It's time to stand economically independent or else we are in trouble. Every now and then when they are pushing the gay agenda, it's all about, oh, pushing pressure groups and pushing money into them. My brother, my sister, it's not about whether I'm against homosexuality or not. It's about what it is, my brother, the amount of money they push to try and push the agenda. Time to be independent. Time to stand firm. Anyway, time now for me to pack up and go. And uh, 